the last uh, point we wanted to discuss today is uh, Europe because uh, <laughs> because we are uh, uh, okay. Let's say it's been a difficult few weeks for us as card collectors. Uh, very difficult few weeks if I speak from my own perspective. Um, we've seen in the US get problems in terms of uh, the, the supply they were getting for the new sets, uh, Shining Fates in particular, uh, but also all of the other new products like the, the McDonald promos or uh, any kind of cards. Like It's been difficult to get them in the US and uh, it's, it's not even worth mentioning getting them in Europe. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to end this podcast by giving uh, giving our audience a little bit of uh, um, a complaint from our side, <laughs> <laughs> if I may say, uh, regarding all of the new products that are being released right now. So uh, uh, what I, new I, products? I'm on yeah. What new products exactly? I don't think. Well, first of all, it's very hard to shop physically right now uh, in, in countries in in Europe. Uh, I think for the for the UK, you can you can go to shops where they sell food, and uh, for Switzerland, they just reopened the shops two days ago, uh, on the day that we're recording this podcast. So we have not had access to a, a shop, physical shop, since uh, weeks. I think it was uh, at the end of January when they decided to close everything. So it's been pretty much uh, a month and a half uh, for, for me that I did not uh, uh, step in a shop where they were selling Pokemon cards. Um, and it's right now it's almost three weeks after the release of Shining Fates I have never seen uh, in my physically uh, uh, a single pack of uh, Shining Fates whether it is in a store or whether it is the the pre-orders that I have made Um, and uh, and yeah so I just wanted to I'd make a point you made your pre-orders like the first day they were available yeah exactly back in December yeah. So, uh, had high expectations, but uh, uh, that ju- that just means that right now we are. I-, I think we're going to approach the hobby a little bit differently than we were doing back in December when we were buying uh, Champions Path uh, packs or uh, or Vivid Voltage uh, booster boxes uh, when it was just released, um, and that gives us a little bit of a back step back uh, perspective on the on the market as well um and uh yeah so we just so you know if if you're on instagram posting the the kind of picture that we are showing right now uh showing the uh the 20th 25th anniversary um binder with the the giant uh, promo uh pikachu uh we are very jealous <laughs> we are very jealous because we don't have access to these cards to these products uh, in Europe, there is uh, very limited yeah. stock everywhere, and uh... there's I, I I've not seen one person post within the UK uh, uh, about these jumbo promos. Yeah. Um. So maybe there's people who have shipped them across from America, uh, but I've heard of no one actually buying these in the UK. So I don't even think um, any of them have made it across. Um, but this was something that was supposed to be released on. Um, Friday, last Friday, 26th of Feb. Right, um, yeah. And yeah, we have heard no update at all from Pokemon uh, about when these will be available. They said it would be a global release. Um, yeah. And yeah, it's just... It, it's, it's already, very... already delayed uh, Yeah. In, without any, any words from the, the, the Pokemon company or the distributors or... It's products that were not even put up to pre-order, so like even the retailers, they they have no idea regarding this uh, this product. So that's uh, a little bit boring for us. So like, um, and and yeah. I've heard as well for for uh, uh, battle styles that there might also be allocation problems. So uh, I think it's it's something that like we just need to take a step back, let's just say, and 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 try to focus on other things and not yeah. just the, the most recent things um, unfortunately this is the story for the rest of the year i think once the initial uh, announcement of the heavy allocations for shining fates we you know myself and, and you made the prediction that i think this is gonna be something that's gonna impact the whole year yeah. uh, of releases uh because once you get one knocked back everything else gets knocked back because they're working their asses off to try and make sure they deliver Shining Fates at some point. Yeah. Um, unless they cut something. <laughs> yeah, I exactly. Cut something. 
But and we don't know what they have in plans for the for the rest of the year. I mean, we know that they, we have uh, an EV evolution uh, uh, set that is coming our way. So once again, trying to keep my eyes away from uh, from this at least at release because it's going to be super hard to to get access to any of these uh, of these sets. Um, yeah. And, one, uh, stat, one stat I'd like to mention, though, is yeah. I've seen quite a lot of uh, polls being done by uh, Pokemon YouTubers um, on YouTube, mm -hmm. from PTCD Radio from to Poker Rev to Randolph to mm -hmm. Unlisted Leaf to Twice Baked Jake. All of them have done polls on have you been able to get your hands on Shining Fates? I've answered on all of them, and the most common percentage i've seen for people who have not been able to get their hands on it is around 70 percent and it's crazy to think that 70 percent of collectors not. can't get their hands on shiny fakes yeah it's mental it is mental yeah and uh, yeah and just like as we, like, like we are three weeks pretty much three weeks uh after the the release of shining face right now so it's uh, it's also crazy to to think that even the we were expecting delays but uh, uh not not from yeah. that uh, i I as you know i've been quite fortunate i've had quite a few packs arrive yeah. um but um <laughs> you're the, the lucky biggest, ones for sure i'm one of the lucky ones but as i've mentioned to you privately it's it's not been as fun for me this time because obviously the whole part of you know opening pokemon packs and is sharing your cards and if you feel like you can't share your cards with people you know without you know and seeing other people's cards like you know uh, you know we always like to share each other's pools yeah um if you can't do that then that's like half the fun yeah um so which is really annoying um but what i found out today is i've reached out to one of the retailers which i have a pre-order with and they teased me massively they basically said so i've got an order for a uh ev hidden fates uh hidden fates ETB? EV shining fates etb uh i've got four uh crazy hat or crazy pin collections uh, and i've got the v max box as well but yeah. what they've done is they haven't fulfilled that order because they're waiting for the VMAX box to be released uh. so they can fulfill it all at once. But then today, they've also announced that there's a delay to the VMAX box uh, release as well. So it looks like uh, the, the way they phrased it is that they've got the stuff waiting in the warehouse, but they're just not going to send it because they're waiting for that one product. Yeah. Yeah, I think retailers are also uh kind of uh, abusing uh our uh, uh our money and our uh, uh love for pokemon and uh i have uh, myself uh, pre-ordered some uh, some some products from uh, some of uh, of the swiss retailers and uh, paid uh, my orders a month ago already and uh and the products are not coming. Uh, they are giving news that they have no news, pretty much, from their pro their um, their suppliers and so on. So uh, uh, I've actually made the request to uh, cancel one of my pre-orders because I was like, what's what's even the point uh, having that many products pre-ordered where when you can't get the products uh, anyways uh, three weeks after the release so i i tried to, to cancel the pre-order and uh, and in switzerland it's legal to uh, to uh, to deny uh, the uh, the request of the cancellation of a pre-order and uh, this uh, retailer had told me like no it's it's not possible and uh, so yeah, we are, we are three weeks after the release of uh, Shining Fates and I've uh, paid my order in, in January and uh, the retailer uh, has kept my money since then and uh, is not willing to give it back to me under any circumstance, even though he's not in, uh, in a position to fulfill the, the order. So um, I think it's going to be uh, the, the, the last time that I pre-order anything. <laughs> uh, to yeah. be honest, I think it's, uh, it's not worth so uh so yeah like j just i mean i know it sounds a bit like pointless the the complaint that we are having right now the the rent that we're having right now because there's really nothing we can do about it and and there's not not much to to say about it but like i just just wanted to to mention this as uh, our approach to the hobby is necessarily going to be changing in the in the next few uh, weeks or months because it's apparently a problem that's going to be uh, ongoing for the the whole year and um 
we might try to focus a bit less on the latest and greatest that is being released like we might not do a review of the of the newest sets and try to get ourselves excited excited about it two days before the the set and then realize that we are actually not getting any packs for the the next month or two months or so because uh, of uh, supply problems so um so yeah it's just as a general direction for the podcast that might influence the next episodes and um just so you're all aware of this. And if you're in the same situation as us, uh, we we are with you. <laughs> we, we feel the pain as well. 